श्री लहरी कृष्ण नाम एपिसोड सिक्स पार्ट वन मोर अबाउट आदि बाली बैगवाड गीता डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वाइल एक्सप्लेनिंग कर्मा योगा बेस्ड ऑन द मैसेजेस ऑफ लॉर्ड श्री लहरी कृष्णा ऑन गीता थ्री टेन I said that the word sacrifice in that sloka is about the sacrifice which took place since the foundation of the world in which devas and sages ourselves sacrificed the lord narayana and that was the real meaning of karma yoga the karma action of narayana which helps us to unite yogam eternally with the lord those days for a sacrifice a sinner brings a lamb and that a sinner only must kill the lamb dies for him so sacrifice means there must be a priest there must be a sinner there must be a lamb or an animal and there must be a fire and after killing that animal it must be burnt in the fire that is the meaning of sacrifice not just pouring ghee so in the adi bali the sacrifice in which god's people sacrificed narayana at the time of the foundation of the world the priest is the paramatma himself we are the sinners The lamb that should be sacrificed was the Lord Narayana. The fire is also Narayana. Now hear what the Lord says on the above subject in Gita 4:24. In the practice of seeing Brahma everywhere as a form of sacrifice. Brahma is the ladle with which the oblation is poured into the fire. Brahma again is the oblation. Brahma is the fire. Brahma itself is the sacrificer and so Brahma itself constitutes the act of pouring the oblation into the fire. and finally brahma is the goal to be reached by him who is absorbed in brahma as the act of such sacrifice gita 424 in gita 916 also the lord tells the same thing i am the vedic ritual i am the sacrifice i am the offering to the departed i am the herbage and food grains i am the sacred formula i am the clarified butter i am the sacred fire and i am verily the act of offering oblations into the fire 16 So you can now understand that the sacrifice alone is the remedy for our sins. Many people say our devotion to God can take away our karma. How can you devote yourself to God in this world with the five senses? That is, if you go two inches above, the five senses pull you six inches down. Think well. Are you able to concentrate on God's name just for twelve seconds when you meditate? That is why God knowing our helplessness has brought to us the wonderful remedy for our sins at the foundation of the world by the sacrifice of himself. Can you understand? Only on the remembrance of the sacrifice of Narayana the animal sacrifices were done in olden times. Even now in this period while building a house or a factory they sacrifice an animal. At least they will kill a frog and start building but without significance. Now you may ask me should we sacrifice animals now no now we are in the age yuga in which god whom we sacrificed at the time of the foundation of the world has come down as the last and final avatar fulfilling all the prophecies of all the scriptures hence if we are able to know who he is we receive all the blessings of that adi bali and at last attain jivan mukti and overcome rebirth Today people have lost their blessings because they pour ghee on the altar. You may put tons of tons of ghee in the fire but you cannot receive the remedy from sins. Why? It is not as per the Vedas. Gita 313 The virtuous righteous who partake of what is left over after sacrifice are absolved of all sins. Those sinful ones who cook for the sake of nourishing of their body alone eat only their sin. The Lord says in this sloka that we should partake of what is left over after sacrifice. Even if you pour tons of ghee, will there be any left over in it except for ashes? Then how can you expect a remedy for your sins? Now again you will ask me, if we accept the sacrifice of Narayana, what left over is there for me? When we accept that we were created by Narayana before the foundation of the world and we were the ones who sacrificed Narayana, we get his spirit pavitra atma and that is the left over when that pavitra atma of narayana comes into us it automatically pulls us towards narayana and his vedas which will guide us into the higher realms of spirituality and at last we overcome rebirth and attain jivan mukti all our sins are forgiven only because of that supreme sacrifice whoever accepts that 
Sacrifice of God is undoubtedly in the original creation of God and all his sins were purged away already. But those people who take the supreme sacrifice for their sensuous desires will face the wrath of God because their sin remaineth. And in Gita 431 the Lord says, To the man who does not offer sacrifice, even this world is not happy. How, then, can the other world be happy? Gita 431 we have to meditate on the sacrifice of Narayana daily. Through the sacrifice of that Parama Purusha, we can understand the love of God and the power of God. We all know that God is eternal. But for the sake of mankind, he chose death and sacrificed himself in that Adhi Yajna. This shows how much the Lord Narayana loves us. Being deathless Parama Purusha, he rose again after the sacrifice with power. Through this, we understand that He is the mighty God. So, you can now understand that the blessings of God can be attained only by accepting that Adi Bali alone and that sacrifice alone is the remedy for our sins. Many people say, our karma can be taken away by our devotion to God. How can you devote yourself to God, in this world with the five senses? That is, if you go two inches above, the five senses pull you six inches down. Arjuna, those who are full of worldly desires and devoted to the letter of the Vedas, who look upon heaven, as the supreme goal and argue that there is nothing beyond heaven are unwise. They utter flowery speech recommending many rituals of various kinds for the attainment of pleasure and power with rebirth as their fruit. Those whose minds are carried away by such words, and who are deeply attached to pleasure and worldly power, cannot attain the determinate intellect concentrated on God. Gita 242-44. See, the so-called saints and gurujis and babas are full of worldly desires, but are devoted to the study of Vedas, what do they say? There is nothing beyond heaven. But the scriptures say that there is vakunt above that. They will teach people many rituals for sake of attainment of pleasures which will lead them to rebirth again. Those who accept their teachings, cannot attain God. But those who have left the desires of the world, their teachings will be based on the Vedas and scriptures. Their teachings will lead you toward God and his Vedas. Their teachings will not be based on rituals, but will be based on Vedas and instead of encouraging you to improve in this world, their teachings will help you to overcome death and help you to live eternally with God. Living with God is the only aim of a devotee. Will be continued in the next episode. All glory and honor to our Lord Sri Lahari Krishna alone. In God's love, Babu Ram, Sri Lahari Om, Tat, Sat, 